Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're gonna be hopping into a brand new deck on my main Chief Pat account in Clash Royale using the Battle Ram and Three Musketeers. And I honestly have no idea how this deck's gonna work out. Apparently, someone was on the leaderboards playing this and was doing ridiculously well, so I thought I would throw it into my deck and to hopefully pick up some wins and check this out. You got the Three Musketeers in the Collector, where generally you try to bait off their Lightning Spell, and after getting a huge Elixir lead, you can dominate with your Three Musketeers. You have the Battle Ram, as well as the Miner as offensive cards, and then the Electro Wizard Knight, Skeletons, and Zap as defensive cards. And uh, let's just go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna start a Grand Challenge right now. We're at three wins and one loss. Let's see if we can pick up some wins using this deck. I really, really am interested to see how this plays out. I've never played against this deck, actually. I played against variations of the Three Musketeer and the Elixir Collector, but uh, first time actually having it happen like this. And it's safe to say that this one's gonna be crazy. Now, I'll start with my Three Musketeers. I have no idea if that's a good play anymore, by the way. Is it good to start with Three Musketeers anymore? Is it too crazy with all the spells and all the madness? He has a Poison spell, so that's gonna be the spell we're looking out for. And uh, meanwhile, on the other side of the map, let's just go ahead and go crazy with our Skeletons, our Miner, as well as our Musketeer. Okay, so he's going to play the Electro Wizard. Pretty classic play from him. Miners, or Musketeer, is going to take that down pretty low to where we're not going to take any damage. And with his Skeletons on the other side of the map, how do we want to deal with this? We don't have our Elixir Collector, so I can't really do anything to play defensively, which I feel like would be good with this deck. But instead, he has the... Does that bowl my... Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, it... Wait, for real? Man, he played 8 Elixir Defending right there. That is a little bit annoying. So let's get ready. Let's get ready in a moment. I'm going to play this here. And then I'll play... Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh, guys. This is not what we bargained for when we uh, decided to do this push right here. Oh, my lord. We were about to lose everything. Skeletons, Knight. Everything's going down right now. Please try to save this tower. Now this tower is as good as gone. Well played from Core. And this was not the start of the game I was looking for. You know, I was trying going to try out this new deck, have some fun with it, pick up some wins. No, we are going to get smashed in the face on the very first push. And that's going to leave us in a pretty crazy position going into the rest of the battle. Let's go into our three musketeers. Three musketeers will guard against this push. He's got a bowler, which is crazy. He's going to try to bowl down everything we have. What an aggressive push from this guy. And in the end, it's not going to work out too hot for him. And instead... I'm going to go ahead and go over here with this one. I'll play the Miner as well, and maybe we can get a good push going. Here it goes. Electro Wizard's going to stop that Battle Ram, unfortunately, but the Musketeer's going to kill that Electro Wizard. Look at all of the damage on that side of the map. That tower is getting blasted right now, and guys, what did I say? This is the best deck inside of Clash Royale. I never doubted it. Did you guys doubt it? What are you talking about? Okay, let's play our Elixir Collector. I know he's probably going to go aggressive with the Bowler in the Graveyard again. That's sort of just what he does, but instead... He's going to do that, so I'll play my Electro Wizard here. And since his Poison spell is missing... I'm going to go ahead and do this. Let's drop everything right here. I've got the Battle Ram in a moment. Battle Ram's going down, but boom! There goes the Battle Ram. Here goes the Miner. Battle Ram's going to eventually explode. Oh, he has the Tornado. That's not good for us, guys. That is not good. We're going to take so much damage because of that Tornado. The Musketeer's going to go down, too. And uh, meanwhile, yeah, we're just trying to hold on the best we can. I'm expecting a Graveyard in a moment. Let's play our Knight at the Bridge, so that's going to let my... So playing the Knight at the Bridge is going to let my Towers deal with this. And even with this Poison spell, he's really not going to be able to get too much damage down. The Knights are just sort of going to cancel each other out. And check out these three Musketeers, guys. Well, boom! Three Musketeers in the face. Let's go! Check out those Musketeers against that tower, taking it down to 1,200 right there. And uh, that was super, super good. And we can get ready to defend against this graveyard one more time. Here goes our Electro Wizard. Electro Wizard going down here. I'm not even going to play anything against what he's doing right now. I'm just going to sort of avoid him. I'll play my Battle Ram over here. My Electro Wizard actually got annoyingly charged back right there. His Electro Wizard's going to go down. We're still getting some minor damage onto his tower. And our Electro Wizard's actually going to do a little bit of work before it eventually goes down. Let's play another three Musketeers right here. But this Poison spell's about to wreck us, I feel like. Yeah, that Poison spell is going to be brutal. But maybe we can get something done. I have no idea right now. Bowler's going to go down right here. Huh. I'll play my Electro Wizard again, just defending against the graveyard the best I can. Hopefully this Knight will distract right here. That's going to be nice. Here we go. This is the push that we try to do to win the game. Here we go. Battle Ram's going down. Everything's going down right now. Probably going to play a Tornado to try to guard against us. That Battle Ram is trying literally its heart out to get to the uh, tower right there. But the Electro Wizard's going to lock on. And finally, 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 we're going to get a victory against Core. What a crazy game right there. That game was bonkers, but we pulled out the victory two grounds to one. And that deck was pretty fun. That was a fun use of the, the Battle Ram, the Three Musketeers. The beginning of the game looked pretty sketchy, but we ended up pulling out the win. And let's get into battle number two against Storm and see if we can keep it up. Hopefully this one isn't as dramatic, but I'm just going to play a Battle Ram. Let's see what he does. Just straight up Battle Ram in his face. Is he going to play Electro Wizard? He's going to play his... Okay, he'll play Skeleton Army. 
That's going to be a pretty effective counter, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to play my skeletons to distract his skeletons, unfortunately. And here he goes on his side of the map. Huh. How do I defend, guys? How do I defend against a Lava Hound? I only have my Elixir Collector, my trusty Elixir Collector, which is about to get blown up in a second. No, it's not going to get blown up, but this Lava Hound, what's going to follow this Lava Hound up? That is something I need to know. I'm going to play this right here. Can we snipe this balloon? Can we snipe this balloon right now? Please snipe this balloon. Please snipe this balloon. Oh, we sniped the balloon, guys. That was really good that we sniped the balloon, but still, we're going to take... We're going to take a decent chunk of damage right here. This Mega Minion's going to go down. Wait, that went way better than I expected. And now we have the, the Musketeer counter push. Okay, did you see how I sniped that balloon right there, guys? The balloon placement, or that placement right there, was clutch. And uh, meanwhile, let's go ahead and just zap everything down right here. And why don't we just go for a crazy push? Minor. Battle Ram. Everything's going down right now. Ske Ugh, the Electro Wizard's getting distracted again. I hate that. That's going to be really frustrating. If we could have gotten that distraction to not happen. But look at that one Barbarian, though. That one Barbarian has a little bit of HP left. The little Barbarian that could is going to crush that tower. And just like that, we are looking in a really good spot. I'll play another Elixir Collector, and we have such an Elixir lead right now. He's going to just have to play his Lightning Spell, which, guess what? Means he doesn't have anything to deal with our three Musketeers. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to show no respect. Just no respect right now. Three Musketeers in the face. Zap ready for the Skeleton Army. It's ready. It's ready. It's ready. I'm telling you, it's ready. Boom. Boom, that's going to... Oh, I guess we missed one. But still, that tower is dead. The zero respect, three musketeers in the face. You're going to play that lightning spell? Guess what? Three musketeers in the mouth. That's tower number one. This game... This deck is super fun. It's super fun. It gets you grooving. It gets you moving. And uh, so far, so good inside of this battle. Now, what did he have against our battle? He had the battle... No, he didn't have the battle ram. He had the... Uh, he had... I don't even remember what he had. What am I even talking about right now? There go the minions. I can't really do anything against the minion guy. Do I have to play another elixir collector? Okay, so I think we just blew our entire lead right now. This is not good for us at all. I don't have anything to deal with, like a poison spell or something crazy. Fortunately for us, he just made a terrible decision by playing that lightning spell. Because now we can use our three musketeers free of cost against everything he has. We can go ahead and zap down these skeletons. That mega minion's gonna die too. And just like this, we're looking so good. Electro wizard onto these... And Battle Ram. But boom, Battle Ram's going down. Here goes everything. He might lightning spell us again. Look at all of this stuff right here. The Battle Ram's going to run straight into his tower. Oh my word, the damage is absurd. That tower is going to go down so low. That zap spell was heinous. Oh no, that zap spell was... Oh, does that mean I'm not going to get three crowns too because of that zap spell? Are you serious? Give me that. Give me that three. Or that two. Give me that two crown. Let's go. Two crowns to zero. GG, well played against Storm. What a deck. What a deck. Good game. Well played. What a deck. Two crowns to zero. Win number five inside of this grand challenge, guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy deck. Again, I'm going to get into one more battle. Let me show you it one more time, though, if you guys are trying to copy it. Three Musketeers, Battle Ram, Elixir Collector, Electro Wizard, Zap, Knight, Miner, and Skeletons. Crazy, crazy, crazy deck. One more battle. One more chance for victory. And this this is just absurd. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I, I'll probably try this out on the leaderboard sometime. Just to say I did, but this has been quite the game. And instead of going for the Three Musketeers, let's play the Battle Ram. He's going to play a Tombstone. That's a really nice counter to the Battle Ram. It's going to be a one Elixir positive trait for him. Uh, Barbarians are going to do their thing. Of course, he's going to give me a little Laugh Face. What's, a little, what's Clash Royale without a little Laugh Face? And we're going to go ahead and play our Elixir Collector. Okay, so Elixir Collector is now down. Now, it all depends on what he has. If he has a Lightning Spell, that is going to be ugly for us. That's going to be real ugly for us. And we're sort of just going to have to figure our way out from there. I'm going to cycle these skeletons right here. And here's the balloon. So let's go ahead and try to balloon snipe. Again, here goes the musketeers. Ba-boom. 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 Going to blow up these minions. Boom. Very nicely done. Everything's going to go really well right here. I'll play, play the electro wizard. Hopefully we can kill this mega minion without suffering a ton of casualties. But look at this. Look at the counter push. Look at the moves. Look at the counter push go down. Oh, zap spell, please. Zap spell, please. Oh, the zap spell is going to go down in time. I whiffed it in the first one. Oh, but what happened to the cry face? What happened to the cry face, David? What happened to the cry face? Where'd he go? Where'd he go, David? Where'd he go? Anyways, that's what I thought. Let's keep going. He's, uh, okay, well, he's clearly, he's clearly angry now after that first smackdown with what we've got. Okay, he's really angry. He's really angry. Okay, well. By the way, guys, did you know I think they changed the taunt limit to 100 now? I heard something about that. Uh, but the taunt limit is now 100. Oh, that was a bad three musketeers. We're going to fight his lava hound on his side of the map, which is really not good for us. Let's use our battle ram instead. Let's try to go ahead and make this push disappear. Uh, one of my musketeers, I think, is out of range. Meanwhile, that battle ram is going to blow that tower up. Wow, that tower is absolutely toast. Minions are going to get locked on. No, they're not. Minions are not going to get locked on. So instead, we have to focus 
on what we've got right here. His miner's gonna do a good job, but still. Let's get ready to zap everything right here. Let's make sure we clean that up. And uh, all in all, we already took out that left-hand tower with our battle ram. We took a little bit more damage than what we wanted due to those poor three musketeers. And I guess we have to use the miner right here. Let's use the Electro Wizard 2. Let's start focusing on this balloon. Unfortunately, there's just too much of this stuff to... You know what? You're going to play all this stuff. I'm just going to play something in your face, too. That's how it's going to go. Let's zap down everything right here. Electro Wizard already died. Everything's trying to reach his tower. He's going to take my tower over there. And uh, with his tower so low, the Barbarian is just barely not going to be able to get a hit in. And you guys know what time it is. You guys know what time it is. You guys know what time it is. Musketeers in the very center are going to take out everything he has. Very nicely done right there. But now he does have an opportunity to play uh he does have an opportunity to play his balloon which is a little bit frightening let's play our knights oh no he's not gonna actually i'm not actually gonna need that against the knight and now we need to cycle to our three musketeers as fast as humanly possible okay here we go only a couple of seconds left on the clock actually we don't even need a cycle to it oh no he's gonna use his lightning spell guys he's gonna use his lightning spell he has to use his lightning spell but instead let's use our three musketeers it's Barely any HP left on the tower, but we're going to pick up a victory against David. GG well played against David. That's the end of the battle. What a fun battle and a trio of games using this deck. And uh, guys, try it out for yourself. This is a fun deck. I told you I would switch it up for my normal Baby Dragon Graveyard Combination deck with the Knight, the Electro Wizard. Try this deck out right here. Three Musketeers Battle Ram. I can't believe it works, but it does. And uh, yeah. That is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smack that like button with an elbow, your nose, your body, poor body part of choice. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.